Today, a McDonald's in our area is hosting a special coffee with a cop. It's a chance to meet with Indianapolis police officers, including one who's getting honors for her previous work at a McDonald's in the city. News 8's Brittany Noble and a special guest. Tell us more. Well, good morning. good morning. McDonald's says that one in eight Americans have worked at a McDonald's restaurant, and today they'll celebrate a former employee who is now deputy chief for the Indianapolis Police Department. With us this morning is McDonald's owner James Poor. Thank yes, you for thank making you. time for us here on Daybreak. Tell us why you decided to choose deputy chief Terry. Hey, we chose her because she's clearly a leader in the community. Uh, she's been doing great things since uh, she left McDonald's. We want to honor her and thank her for what she contributed to make us a great system today. What type of special qualities did she have? Sure. Well, what we found about her is, uh, one, she got the leadership skills, uh, and that was pretty obvious. She's a great, great communicator. Uh, she learns the value, knows the value of discipline, systems, and routines. So we were able to check every box with her and what she's contributed. Now, she will be at the Coffee for Cop event today. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, we're celebrating her during our Coffee with a Cop event. Uh, we're having it at the uh, Westmore Street location and we're doing this because it gives us a great opportunity to bring the community together and talk to cops over coffee in a uh, you know environment now. So this really helps to improve the communication. What can you know people why do they do this? Why yes. do they sit down and talk with police officers? What's the need? Yeah, I tell you what, it's, it's a need to meet them now when you don't need them. Mm. So they're able to come in and talk to them. Some just talk to them about what it takes to become a cop, what their day is really like. Some have problems and concerns and don't know who to reach out to. So we have a host of different uh, reasons why people come in, but it's a very well attended event. And again, we're very excited about it today. So we understand that research says that one in eight Americans have worked yeah. Yes. at McDonald's. What yeah. type of skills can you pick up yes. from working at the restaurant? You know, again, even when we look at Deputy Chief uh, Terry, uh, certainly leadership, as you know, as you lead a shift or teamwork, as you become a member of a team, uh, customer service skills. Uh, there are just so many different things that you can pick up. And uh, again, we're excited about those possibilities. So tell us a little bit about this jacket that you brought right. in. This is very yes. nice, yes. wow. Well, you know, speaking of one in eight, this was designed by a one in eight alum, a former uh, McDonald's employee. Okay. And what we're doing during this season is we're making sure that we're highlighting and we're celebrating, again, a lot of those former alum that have helped make us a great system that we are today and again we're celebrating them and the accomplishments that they've made also so this is the jacket that we'll be presenting her with later today and again looking forward to it this is very nice so again the event today will be at 10 a.m. Yes. at the McDonald's located on Morris Street and the restaurant says that they'll continue to serve guests that we will okay yes, we will. breakfast and coffee That's fantastic it. thank you so much James right. Poor, for joining us this morning we appreciate you